The German Luftwaffe's Henschel HS-132 dive bomber and interceptor aircraft from World War II never saw battle. Two prototypes were still in the works, and only one was finished. The Soviet Army took over the plant. As the mid-1945 combat was coming to an end, right before the HS-132 V-1 was ready for flight testing, with the V-2 and V-3 having already been completed to 80 and 75 percent, respectively. The aircraft stood out for its unique design, which had a jet engine-powered tailless layout. When dive bombing, pilots would have gotten into a prone position to withstand strong G-forces. The aircraft's main function was to provide a quick and agile platform for carrying out accurate attacks against adversary objectives. Germany's emergency fighter program, which aimed to change the direction of the war by using cutting-edge technology, included the construction of the HS-132. The project was abandoned after the European war ended, despite its promise. Its capabilities remained unexplored and its possible influence on the war remained unclear. Aviation saw rapid and revolutionary technical advancement during the turbulent Second World War. Henschel Flugzeugwerke developed the HS-132 as a quick and accurate ground attack aircraft for the German troops in response to a threat request from the Luftwaffe for a single-seat jet-powered dive bomber. Henschel engineers put in a great deal of work to create an aircraft that was ready to transform aerial combat, even in the face of wartime circumstances. The project began in 1943. The goal of the HS-132 was to provide an inventive response to the Luftwaffe's need for a flexible and effective dive bomber that could carry out deadly precision strikes. Its jet propulsion technology was expected to provide a significant advantage over its propeller-driven competitors, guaranteeing faster travel times and a reduced vulnerability to interceptions. Its improved aerodynamics and small size were also meant to increase the aircraft's durability in combat. However, the war's course and final outcome limited the HS-132's development and prevented it from making a permanent impression in the sky. The HS-132 was unique among aircraft designs because of its atypical layout, which included a forward-swept wing arrangement and a peculiar tail assembly. The forward-swept wings not only provided great stability in dives, improving the aircraft's precision in ground strikes, but they also increased its agility, making it a dangerous opponent for other aircraft. The BMW 003 turbojet engine powered the HS-132 to a remarkable peak speed, making it one of the quickest aircraft ever. Not only did the novel wing design improve performance, but it also allowed for a more compact construction, which reduced the aircraft's radar cross-section and made it harder to see. Pilots had unmatched sight thanks to the front-facing cockpit, which is a crucial advantage for precise bombing and low-altitude flight. Furthermore, the HS-132's design made use of lightweight materials to enhance speed and maneuverability, confirming its reputation as one of the most formidable dive bombers of its day. The war's end meant that, in spite of these cutting-edge innovations, the HS-132's capabilities were never tested in action. The sleek and narrow fuselage is the central feature of the basic yet attractive design of the HS-132. The cockpit at the front of the aircraft is encircled by large glass panels which provide the pilot with the best possible vision. The wings have a unique upward-angled straight V form and the tail has a traditional split rudder fin configuration that completes the overall design. The three-wheel landing gear is entirely retractable when needed, which adds a functional touch. The Heinkel 162 Volksjäger, a famous World War II jet fighter, shares many of the same compelling characteristics as the HS-132. But in contrast to the HE-162, which was designed as a point defense fighter with low maintenance costs and maximum efficacy, the HS-132 placed greater emphasis on speed and attacking power. In addition to lowering drag, its aerodynamic design allowed for quick descents and ascents, both essential for its function as a dive bomber. Aside from its design, 
The aircraft was built using cutting-edge materials and methods that improved its longevity and performance in battle at the time. Notwithstanding these encouraging features, the war's end prevented the HS-132, which was still a prototype, from reaching its full potential. The Ju-87 series dive bomber is a source of inspiration for the HS-132, which aims to emulate its successful design concepts. Because of its narrow fuselage, the cockpit is configured differently, with the pilot in a prone position. This is because it is thought that this position increases the aircraft's ability to tolerate higher G-forces during dives, emphasizing its function as a dive bomber. HS-132 describes dropping a bomb weighing 1,102 pounds that is tucked up in a recess under the belly. This purposeful design decision was made to reduce drag and maximize the aircraft's streamlined profile, allowing for a quick and steep drop to the target. In addition, the bomb's precise location made it easier for a quick-release mechanism to function, which was necessary for the aircraft to quickly emerge from the dive and lessen its exposure to enemy fire. In addition to these characteristics, the HS-132's propulsion system was carefully engineered to produce strong thrust, guaranteeing the aircraft's quick ascension following cargo delivery and readiness for re-engagement or return to base. Combining speed, agility, and firepower was supposed to make the HS-132 a deadly weapon in the Luftwaffe's inventory, but by the end of the war, its full potential had not been reached. For stationary defensive capabilities, the HS-132's armament arrangement provides two MG-151 guns, or a combination of two MG-151 cannons and two MK-103 cannons. The aircraft's design primarily leaned toward using wood as its principal material in order to overcome the difficulties presented by wartime limitations, notably on precious metals utilized in combat material. Designed with precision dive bombing in mind, the HS-132's distinctive shape permitted steep dive angles, giving the pilot the ability to discharge ordnance with unmatched accuracy and turning it into a formidable weapon against enemy ground objectives. Future aircraft designs were influenced by the innovative forward-swept wing layout of the HS-132, which was pioneering in its field. The HS-132 itself did not see much action, but its unique characteristics had a lasting impact on the development of jet-powered aircraft. The intended armament was designed to ensure the aircraft's proficiency in a dogfight if necessary by striking a balance between offensive firepower and defensive capabilities. In addition to avoiding resource shortages, the use of unconventional materials like wood demonstrated extraordinary inventiveness in the face of wartime limitations. The design concepts of the HS-132 have left a lasting impact on current aviation, where they are employed to produce aircraft that continuously push the limits of speed, agility, and aerodynamic efficiency. More than 30 German World War II-era aircrafts are already covered on this channel. To check out another amazing dive bomber concept, the Junkers Ju-187 Super Stuka, click the video on the right. To check out a weird German dive bomber, Hutter HU-136 Stubo with no pilot visibility, click the video on the right. Thanks for watching.